Yo, what's going on guys, here's it back with another episode of New York Grand Depression Mode, and when we left off, we advance to the Stanley Coop Finals! We beat the freaking Flyers seven games. Could have been in five, but they decided otherwise. So, we take on the San Josie's on a vacation far away in the Stanley Cup Finals. <clears throat> I look at their team. We're about even. In every aspect you can imagine. <sighs> Just get underway. What the hell are we waiting for? First period of the Stanley Cup Finals. 1-1, one, one, okay. Damn it. <clears throat> Second period. Boom! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How Book! Oh, and Carlson, there we go. That ought to do it. That ought to do it. Get her done. Get her done. Fuck you, Tierney. Up yours. Dick. What a dick. We don't need your shit, Tierney. We don't need it. Game one goes to New York. Come on, each two old me today because <clears throat> we're in a little bit of a dry mouth. So we took game one five to two, and we weren't even at home. Game two. Uh -uh. Here are the goals. First period. All right, all right. Uh, second period. Damn it. Third period. Come on. Yes, out of boy book. Now you're doing the book. Da ha da ha. Come on, let's go. All power play. Yes, Zook. Book and Zook, baby. Come on. Come on. F complete the comeback. Complete. Oh, no. No. What the far? Are you kidding me? Come on. No. What for a comeback? Sucks ass. Soderbergh, you're in the cup. Bow me, sir. We're in the cup. Game three. Come on. First period. Second period. Oh, two zip. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Non stop. Yeah, Chrissy K. CK20. Who out? In the house. Fucking Melka Carlson. Up yours. You piece of shit. Ruin my moment. See what happens. Beat the shit out of you. Anyways, four, three, two, come on, come on, come on, yes, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, Whew. we could take a three to one Stanley Cup series lead right now, we could, first period. All right, we got the lead. We got the lead. Second period. Oh, baby, yes. Third period. Just erased the board on the shark side. Do not let them get anything. That means don't give them power plays, boys. What's going on? Relax. Play hockey. Just play your... Oh, there we go. And we get a power play. Good. You don't even need to... Score. Oh, I mean, every... an insult to injury now, guys. Let's relax. Let's not piss them off. <sighs> The New York Rangers have a 3-2-1 series frigging lead. We are one game out of winning the Stanley friggin' Cup. Holy shit. It doesn't even have to be on home ice. Just win this game. Whew. I'm freaking pumped right now. No freaking way. And, oh my god. Whew. Okay. In San Jose, first period. All right, all right, we're out shooting them. Second period. All right, they're not going to go down without a fight. Come on, let's tie it up. Let's tie it up. Come on, get an early one, get an early one. No, okay, come on. Come on, strike before the 10, strike before the 10. Come on, come on, get me a goal, get me a goal. All right, all right, come on, guys, come on. 
Oh, 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 come on, late ones, two late ones. Come on, don't get shut out. That's not good. Don't get shut out, at least. Uh, prevent the shutout. Prevent the shutout. Fuck. All right, all right, listen. We'll give them that one. They were at home. They didn't want to lose on home ice again. Let's take it a game. We'll just take them in games. Oh, Soderberg got hurt. Oh, he must be okay. He's still in. Guys, at MSG. Win the cup at MSG. Let's freaking go. First period. Yes. Second period. We're out shooting. Holy shit. All right, that first period, they only had three shots, but they caught up this. Oh, my God. Five to four going into the third. This is a shootout. All right. Third period. Chris Kreider. Oh, and Ryan Grop. Oh, my God. No way. Three goals in the first three minutes of the third period. And Mill. Oh, shit. JT Miller comes back to bite his old team in the ass. The Rangers are up eight to five with ten minutes to go. Oh, nine to five. Malte Strom. Well, no freaking way. Is this going to be a blowout? Oh, my God. No, no. Whoa. Whoa, why? Let's pause. And the New York Rangers win the Stanley Cup in six games. The final game, 9-5. to five. Oh, I wanted to pause it. I wanted to end it the last second. But it doesn't even matter because they won the Stanley Cup. Yes! Woo! 9-5 to five, that final game. Lundqvist, I don't know what the hell you were doing, but I don't even care. We won the Stanley Cup. We won the Cup. The Cubs in New York, baby. Woo! Bang! Yes, I will accept that offer. Boom! Give me that. Nah, nah, nah. Screw you. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah! Woo! Now you're in New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can't do. Let's hear it for New York. Hell yeah, baby! Woo! And because we won the cup, all these fans get a nice discount on their season tickets next year. Let's freaking go. Nah, 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 nah. We're riding discounts this year, baby. Nice, round, even numbers. We just won the cup. Let's make everybody nice and happy here. No need to piss anybody off. Oh, Nelly. Woo. Hell yeah, baby. Hell to the yes. Oh, Stanley Cup champions, your New York Rangers. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, and we have three first-round picks, too. Oh, Scout, go. You know what? You know, you don't. You can scout in the U.S. You can stay nice, close to home this time, Scout. I won't send you abroad. Oh. Oh, my God. We freaking did it. Yes. We don't have a single pick in the top 14 despite having four first round picks. Who the hell cares? We just won the Stanley Cup. Oh, shut up. Yeah, you forget. We just won you a Stanley Cup owner. Don't give me shit because you're fan happy and this wasn't 96. Up yours. Yes, I would love to review the retired players. Lundquist, come on, man. This is the year to go out. You'll be doing me a huge solid here. Yes! Henrik Lundqvist has retired. I wanted him to go out on top. I'm going to miss him. We don't have a starting goalie anymore, but I want Hank to go out on top. That is such a beautiful way for a legendary future Hall of Fame, a retired number for the New York Rangers to go in the rafters, go right out into the sunset after a Stanley Cup victory. It took him, let's see, Lundqvist's first year with the New York Rangers was, let's say, I think it was, I want to say 04, 05, but I could be wrong. Yeah, 05, 06. See, I was wrong. It took him, oh my god, at least in this universe, 13 years, legendary seasons, amazing years, to win the Stanley Cup with the New York Rangers, and he did it. And he gets to ride off in style. Three playoff shutouts, I think, is that a career high for him? Yeah, he tied a career high for shutouts in a playoff run. Most playoff victories for him in a season. Wow. What a way to go out. Hand, round of applause for Henrik Lundqvist, man. Ah, what a beaut. What a beaut. What a way to end a career, man. Henrik Lundqvist will always be remembered as a valued member of the New York Rangers. We shall retire in number in his honor.
effective immediately. The New York Rangers on a hundred going quest for life. Legends like Rene, well not even legends, great play of Rene. All of these guys are tying, but nobody even comes close to Lundqvist's status, especially the way he ended this career. What a career for Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, so you were tied for the forward. Yeah, uh, boom, boom. Duncan Key. Oh, he was uh, 35 is a little young for a superstar. Uh, see who else retired. Franz Nielsen and Mark. Well, you know, people retire young in this game. It's kind of stupid. Wow. I, oh, that's all I can say. 33 years old, really? Wow. I'm just, I, I, I can't say anything else but wow. What a playoff run. What an end. And the end is totally, totally, totally. Has it, as, you throw an exclamation point at the end when Henrik Lundqvist takes home that Stanley uh, X-Ranger right there. Henrik Lundqvist gets to hoist the Stanley Cup. Marking his last game. As a player of any team, for that matter. At the ripe old, at the ripe young age of 37 years old, Henrik Lundqvist gets to retire. What a beautiful, what a beautiful, beautiful video we have right here. I, I, I w let's let's take a look at the player stats for the player right after I say this because you know we got him here on strip. and I get to be mellow now. This video, I don't have to scream anymore. The games have been played. Rangers are your Stanley Cup champions. They're taking the cup everywhere with them. Uh, player stats. First of all, the playoff tree. Let's. Oh, we'll look at that after. We'll look at that after. Let's let's go take a look at the player stats for the playoffs. Pavel Buknevich, 34 points in 23 games. That right there is a superstar. I think he is more than deserving of a letter next year. Sam Reinhardt right behind him, 29 points. Step on Seth up had a huge series, went from 11 points to 19 points in those six games. But Pavel Buknevich, 34 points in 23. He's been a playoff performer this entire time, and I haven't even noticed it. He has 36 playoff games, and admits, ad, uh, admits those 36 playoff games that he has registered with us. He has 60, uh, 6, 42, 47 points in 36 career playoff games. Sure, that first year, yeah, and then he had a eh, and a, uh, year. But you know what? Basically, point per game every single year of his career. Plus, mine is always high. Low penalty, man, is a lot of PPGs. Shots get lower and lower every year, but his high, shooting percentage gets higher. Game winning goals. I think Buknevich is solidified himself for a letter on this team. He earned it. Sam Reinhardt, man, this kid. <sighs> People thought, you know, he would sit out the season. The Sabres couldn't get him signed. Rangers make an ass chunk of moves. They pick him up. Comes a point per game player. Sets career highs in goals and points and plus minus. And power play goals. And lights it up for the playoffs. Dominating playoff player as well. He's got... 37 career playoff games, and in those 37 games, he has 47 points. Quite like Buknevich. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What this team has been able to accomplish. The most difficult decision then going forward, I mean, now we, we should have enough cap space to resign everybody. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll extend this video for a little bit just because I love you guys and because I want to thank everybody for standing by us and watching this series with me. And sticking by me, we're up to 33 freaking subscribers. It's something I never even imagined, ever even dreamed of. I never dreamed of getting past five. You guys made this all possible. I wouldn't even do this franchise mode. I would never get to enjoy coming home from school, talking to a camera, recording myself playing a, a sports game for the best game in the world. I would not get to do this if it wasn't for you guys. So, in honor of you guys, we're going to do the draft. We're going to get to the resign stage and maybe go to free agency. So, in honor of you... Let us start the NHL Entry Draft. Whew. So, let's take a look at the team, our team as a whole right now because we got some stuff to figure out. We got about $13 million in cap space before going into the offseason. So, that's before everyone's contract expires and we got to figure out who we got to resign. Uh, hopefully, Gustafson can take over as a starter next year. We're going to have to really, really bank on that. Um... 
we're going to really be banking on him becoming a starter. Actually, I think he can take the reins. I think we I think we give him the shot. He's 84 overall. I think he can handle it. Uh, as per our first round picks go, we have three or four. Okay, we have four first round picks this season. We have four. So let's look. Uh, maybe because we might uh, we might actually have to trade some players here. We'll go to all skaters. Uh, let's see who needs to be re-signed first and foremost. Uh, after this, so oh boy, it's not looking great. Um. Uh, yeah, these guys don't matter. They're gonna take two way deals. Uh, Jay Bowmey, sir. I think it's fair that we release him. He served his purpose. Um, he's listed as a top. Actually, maybe we will sign. We will resign Jay Bowmey, sir. We'll see. I'll I'll see about resigning Jay Bowmey, sir. Uh, we gotta resign McDonough, the captain. Uh, I'm gonna say about seven. So we're already at seven. Uh, Ryan Hart is going to easily be seven again. I'll say seven and a half. So we're at 14 and a half. Uh, so now it's seven and a half. So that's 22. VC's going to want four. That's 26. Kovacs, uh, maybe one. 27. Uh, 29. Uh, I'm going to say six for him. So 35. I'm going to say 3, 38. So we're going to need about 38 million in cash space. We have 12 right now. But let's, say we have, let's just say we have 13. Uh, let's see. Let's be 11. So that's going to be 25 right here. 33. Yeah, we're going to have like $40 million in cash space. It's not even a worry, actually. Alright, so false alarm, we don't have to worry about that. But maybe we should look out for shipping away some players that just aren't going to be playing next season. Maybe, like, um, their spots may be overtaken by uh, other players. First, we got to look at our defense primarily because we got, I think we got kids going up right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we're out of young defense. But we have Sean Day, but I don't think he's going to be ready next year. Uh, actually, he might be. His stats aren't that bad. He's very well rounded, actually, Sean Day. Uh, he might just. Be ready by next year. Um, we'll pull over eggs in one basket because we are gonna. Eh, you know, maybe we should release Bowman. So he's old. He won the cup. He served his purpose here. Uh, let's take a look at Jeremy Wah. He's not going anywhere. Someone had two ADL. It's amazing. Uh, forwards: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we got our 12 forward. I think Mike Richards is going to play in the minors from here on out. Nobody's kind of fighting for spots. So, you know, we actually have our we have our forward core. Our fourth line next year will be Stromwell, Gropp, and probably Kovacs or Tambolini. We'll see. Uh, we definitely have a well-rounded team next year. Very well-rounded team, I can tell you that right now. Um, now, I want to try something here. We do have four first round picks. Is New Jersey interested in any of our first round picks? But they, they are interested in giving away theirs. Are they interested in ours? Okay. All right. Well, there's no way we're getting the first overall pick. All right. So, um, nah, that just wouldn't be real. All right. So we'll just, uh, let's go to here. Sim to use a pick. Use up all of our first round picks. Ivan Barbershev finally played his first NHL season. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we can do here. We have four first round picks. We can't make four mistakes, can we? Uh, good. High top nine. There you go. Boom. Top six sniper. Beautiful. Uh, same to user pick. We got four of these. Got one top six sniper. Let us see who else is available. Um, uh, top nine two way forward, beautiful. See what he can turn out to. A top six two way forward, perfect. Oh, that upshot guy was good. Maybe we should, maybe we should take a look at some of the tendies available. Uh, these guys are definitely risky picks. What am I doing here? Those guys are risky picks. Um, nah, they're not listed as first rounders. Uh, we might need defensemen going forward. We already drafted the sniper, so I'm going to skip the sniper. I, I think that's safe. 
Uh, two-way forward center is a second round pick. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, you know what? I'll put my faith in the computers for this pick. Um, and we'll go ahead and sit in this pick. Put our faith in the computer. Oh, all right, we ended up getting another sniper. And because I don't know anybody said pick, see with. Oh, beautiful! What a draft! We have three top six forwards and a top four defenseman, and I think we'll call it there for the for the draft. Excellent. 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 Wow. Four above average first round picks. <laughs> three top sixes, uh, two snipers, one two way forward, and I think that was a two way defenseman. Correct? Right? Was that a two-way defenseman? I want to say yes. I I'm going to say yes. That was a two-way. Alrighty then. Yeah, $40 million in count three. These are more than enough. We should. Now, don't hold me to that because I could very well be wrong. Uh, let's get him under contract. Uh, he's talking to the kid. Yeah, we can release him. Uh, John Carlson. Uh, oh, wow. He wanted even less than I thought he would want. Uh, is this plausible for you? Three years of five a year? Probably not. Uh, the Wick. Get him three years. 825 grand. He, oh, wow. He wanted less than I thought, too. Perfect. Uh, how about... How about six and a half? Uh, 6.3. How's that? Uh, Paul Postma. He wants a one-way deal. We'll get back to you. The Book. Uh, we got a two-year deal. Uh, he wanted less than I thought. Two-year deal. We'll give him 5.75. I think that's a good deal. For two years. VC. He wanted a lot less than I had expected. Um, might as well give him the extra year. Get him at 3.35. Uh, don't know who you are. Um, is he a grinder? If he's a grinder, I'll keep him. If not, I'm going to have to release you, man. I'm sorry. No, you're doing the Zook. Uh, oh, he wanted more than I expected. Um, let me get back to you, Zuccarello. I won't forget about you. Gropper. Yeah, I figured he would want... He wants cash. He wants to get paid. Uh, we'll give him 2.25 for the time being, and we'll get back to him next year. Robin Kovacs, I'm going to assume, yeah. How good he wants. Um, that's worrisome. That is very worrisome. All right, just get him three years. Because we get him three years at this price, it's not bad. I don't know if he's going to be able to live up to it, though. Uh, Nicholas Jensen, good minor league scorer. Trick. Uh, Sam Reinhardt. Gotta get this guy under con. Oh, he wants cash. Dude, this guy wants to get paid. Alright. Can I figure you in for 8.8? .8? Would that be a good deal? Uh, this guy wants an arm and a leg, you know? Alright. Well, let's see who accepts, who doesn't accept. I can guarantee you Sam Reinhardt won't accept. I'm just trying to lowball him a little bit. Get his asking price just a little bit lower because that is an excessive amount of money he's asking for. Oh, wow, perfect. Oh, sweet, all right. Oh, wow, everybody accepted. This is unex This is greatly unexpected. Wow, all right, listen, I'll take it. That's actually amazing. We got a lot of really good deals. <laughs> and we still have $9 million in cap space. This is beautiful. This is, this is, this is beautiful. The beautiful thing you guys are watching right here. Um, and Zook, uh, uh, you know, I'll give this guy a contract. What's, what's, what's the harm? Poor guy just wants to make money. Uh, Zook. I'm going to give Zook a one-year deal. One year, four and a half, the same contract. Next year, we'll probably want even less. So, give him one one year, four and a half. Uh, do we got to resign any goalies? Uh, we do. Uh, B-House is our minor league guy. Oh, great. He's going to get better. So, we'll go like that. Uh, no, we can release you. And we can release you. Uh, now, I do believe we have to resign one more, right? Paul Postma? Yes. So, that ought to do it for you. And then we can just go right to free agency.
We are going to skip just one day, though, because I got a weird feeling Zuccarello is not going to accept that offer. We're getting a one year good, a good one year deal. So I, mean, I think he should. Yeah, perfect. All right, good. Let me just go right to free agency. We'll peek. We'll take a peek at the free agents. This video is carried on a long time. I did it for you guys. I could have easily made this five minutes long, but you guys deserve this. Oh, that's such a beautiful picture. 2009 Stanley Cup champions. Uh, I know. I apologize. Bo Meister couldn't stay on the team, but I I couldn't have him sticking around. All right. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. My, maybe we'll just bring back Anton Stroman. Then you won't miss him that much. Uh, Kirby Reichel, Tyler Myers, Hunter Shinkarook. Uh, Shinkarook. Uh, excuse me. Rick Nash. <sighs> bring him back to the red, white, and blue. This thing's going to work out in Anaheim, huh? I got hurt a lot. All right. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we do need a defense. Is this Blake Wheeler? We're signing him. And I'm going to tell you why. Because his overall did not go down. I don't think. I think he's having morale problems. Nicholas Cromwell Southern retired. Good on you. Okay, I think we're going to, I think we're going to sign Blake Wheeler. Because I guarantee you it's just morale. No, but it does say roll second liner, though, so I could be very, very wrong. Um, we might need a goalie. Uh, all right, we're going to skip on the goalie, though. Uh, oh, come on. Any good potential players? I don't want to see Mont. I already know about him. Um, nah, no one we want. All right. So what I think is going to happen is... We don't need any of these guys. I'm not opposed to signing Anton Strom, but I'm not for it at the same time because he'd just be playing top six minutes. Eberle, Skinner, Myers. Yeah, you know what? No, we're not going to sign anybody. Yep. We'll go into the season with some extra cash. With some cash flow. Let's go here. Save file. And boom. Take a look at the awards. And then, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Ah, so you're Stanley Cup champion, New York Rangers, Sharks, Sharks, Rangers. I'm going to beat the President Trophy winners, wow. Good on you, mate. Uh, Patrick Hamill, New York Ross, Crosby, get the heart, Norris, uh, Udo, Calder, Ah, Puknevich got the con smite, just like I said he would. Uh, Vesna, oh, we beat the Vesna Trophy, and the William and Jennings Trophy winner. Uh, Selke, Lindsay, Richard. So we only have one. So, I think we'll end it there. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. I certainly enjoyed making it, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.